Hey guys, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and I'm back with another interesting trigger scenario. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. Let's understand today's scenario. Today we are going to limit number of contacts per account. Basically, we will code to ensure that each account has only maximum of two related contacts. This means if two contacts are present on an account and a user try to add a third contact on it, then contact should not get added and the user will see error message like an account can have maximum of two related contacts. Now it's time to code. So let's go to VS Code and create our trigger. Let's name it validate contact trigger. So we need to prevent insertion of contact. So our trigger will be on contact object. So let's write contact here. And we want to validate number of contacts before insertion. Therefore, we have to use before insert event. So we already have before insert event here. Now we want this code to be executed only on insertion of contact. For that, we will apply a check like this. Trigger dot is before and insert. At first, we have to get parent account ID of new contacts that are being inserted and after that we will store those account IDs in a set. So for that let's create a set first. ID New set ID Now we want to access new records that are being inserted. Therefore we have to use trigger.new here. But before that let's apply a null check on it. Note is empty and write it over it. Trigger dot new Let's apply a null check on account ID also. Not equals to null and store this account ID in our set. Dot add con dot account ID. In next step, what we will do, we will create a map integer contact count integer. Basically, this map will be used to store number of contacts associated with each account. The key of this map will be the account IDs and the value in this map will be the number of contacts associated with each account. Now we will use aggregate query to count number of contacts. So for that, we have to do like this. Select account ID. And here we will use count aggregate function to count related contacts. So let's use count ID, contact count, and this contact count variable will hold the count of contacts for each account. From contact where count ID. IDs. There is another important point. We have to group account ID because we are not using any aggregate function with it. And if we will not group it, then we will get an error that field must be grouped or aggregated. So to avoid that error, we will group account ID. Now let's apply a null check over this list and iterate over it is empty. Iterate over it. And now we have to put account ID and contacts count in this map. For that, let's copy map name dot put. So firstly for account ID, here we need to give data type and after that iterated variable dot get 
here we need to provide field name copy this name and paste it here and in case of contacts count first provide the data type integer attribution variable dot cat and here we need to give variable name that we have used in our aggregate query so copy this name paste it here now we have contacts count and account id in our map now it's time to check number of contacts of an account using this map but before that let's apply a null check over trigger.new and iterate over it contact con obj trigger.new and now according to our scenario limit of contacts will be 2 and we have count of contacts in our map so let's use if condition like this and inside this if condition first let's apply a null check over account id on obj dot account id not equals to null and after that apply a null check over number of contacts related to an account and we have count of contacts in our map so copy its name and paste it here dot cat con obj dot account id basically the get method takes key as argument and it returns the value associated with it in this case account id is the key and value written by get method is the number of contacts associated with that account and after that we have compared the written value which is count of contacts by two it means that if there are already two contacts present on an account and user try to insert one more contact then we will show error like this on obj dot add error you cannot insert this contact as there are already two contacts present Also, we need this code to be executed only on before insert event. So let's enclose this whole code inside this if condition. Save it and let's deploy it to org. Okay, it is successfully deployed. Now it's time to check working of our trigger. For that, let's go to account. And now if our trigger is working fine, then the third contact will not get inserted. So let's try to insert third contact. For that, click on new. Test con 3. Click on save. See the error has come, which means our trigger is working fine. Wait, 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 wait. There is still a scenario left. If we update the parent account of a contact, then this trigger will not show any error whether two contacts already present on that account let's understand by diagram let's say we have two accounts account one and account two and we have one contact on account one and on account two we have two contacts contact one and contact two now if we will update the parent account of the contact which is present on account one to account two then it should show error because there are already two contacts present on account two but it will not show any error because our code is working only for insert operation so to solve this issue let's add before update here and here also figure dot is update save it and deploy it to org okay it is successfully deployed now let's check working of our code for update operation. See this test account one has two contacts on it. Let's try to add one more contact on it by reparenting method. For that let's go to any other account. And let's update the parent account of this contact. Let's test account one. Click on save. 
see the error has come which means our trigger is working fine for both insert and update operation that's it for today guys and i'll be back with more interesting trigger scenario thank you